Aerobic respiration by kscience.com. This here is an animal cell. As you can see, it's an animal cell with a cell membrane, a nucleus, and also what I'm drawing now are the mitochondria. So these here are the mitochondria, the site of respiration in a cell. The mitochondria, the mitochondria. So the mitochondria are organelles of the cell that release energy. They do not produce energy, they release energy into the cell. So as you can see here, these mitochondria are releasing energy into the cell. This here is a ribosome. Ribosomes produce proteins from amino acids. And these ribosomes, they need the energy that is released from respiration to build the larger molecules from smaller ones. So as you can see here, the energy released is needed for building larger molecules from smaller ones whereby you have individual monomers of amino acids, then the energy is transferred to the ribosomes, whereby the ribosomes then build larger polypeptide chains or amino acid chains from the amino acids themselves. This here is a muscle cell. Muscle cells have many mitochondria. They got many mitochondria. So as you can see here, these mitochondria are releasing energy into the cell because the muscle cells, they must relax and contract rapidly so we can move. So this shows a muscle cell contracting, getting shorter, and then the muscle cell is going to relax and get longer. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what is the equation for aerobic respiration? Well, aerobic respiration is the complete combustion inside the mitochondria of glucose by oxygen. So it's going to be glucose plus oxygen reacts to form carbon dioxide and water. And this is an exothermic reaction. So energy is released. So let's look at this equation in a little bit more detail. The oxygen for the reaction of respiration is from our breathing. We breathe it in and it gets transported to our respiring cells in the blood. When the oxygen gets to the cells, it's gonna diffuse into the cell, as you can see here. And the oxygen will make its way to the organelle, the mitochondria. The glucose that we require for respiration comes from the food we eat. So when we eat carbohydrates, such as starch, that gets broken down to glucose. That glucose will then diffuse into our cells. So in the organelle called the mitochondria, oxygen, and glucose are going to react together. This will then form two byproducts. These byproducts are carbon dioxide and water. So the carbon dioxide and water, they both leave the cell. So respiration in the mitochondria is an exothermic reaction. Therefore, there is a release of energy from the mitochondria into the cell. So as you can see here, energy is being released from the mitochondria into the cell. Energy is being released from the mitochondria into the cell. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.